All right. So this is a question that we had on the practice test. It is, I wouldn't say a mole to mole conversion, but if you read it, it says 2.5 moles of iron are reacting with 2.5 moles of uh, Cl2. How many moles of FeCl3 will be formed? And then it says, hint, this will be the lesser moles of FeCl3 formed based on the moles of each reactant. Uh, this can be very confusing. It can throw you off with the way they word things. But essentially, what they're saying is, how many moles of FeCl3 is going to be formed when 2.5 moles of iron and 2.5 moles of Cl2 react with each other? That's it. All right. So we have to first start with balancing the equation. No matter what the question is, you always want to balance the equation. So here we have iron reacts with uh, Cl2. Right? And that gives you F E C O three. Okay. So to balance these out, so we have one iron here, one iron here, three uh chlorines here, and only two on this side. So you would want to put a two here, right? To make this a six. So this would be become six, and that will become two. And then all you have to do is put a two here also, right? Because two irons on this side, two irons on this side, and then you just want to put a three. It would be right here. We'll put a three. So it can be six chlorines on both sides. So your uh, balance equation, well, this would be your balance. So 2Fe plus 3Cl2 equals 2FeCl3, right? Okay. So we see on the balanced equation that for every two moles of iron, right? On the left side, for every two moles of iron, uh, when it reacts with three moles of Cl2, you get two moles of FeCl3. So the ratio from iron to chlorine is, or sorry, from iron to uh, FeCl3 is 2, 2, right? Because two moles of iron gives you two moles of FeCl3, right? So two moles of iron gives you two moles of FeCl3, which also means, right, it's also a one one ratio, right? Because they're they're the same number, right? It's so if it was, for example, if it was even a six six ratio, it would still be a one one ratio because for every one mole of iron would give you one mole of FeCl three, right? So you can do either way. It's just easier if you you know make the numbers simpler for yourself, right? So we know that. We are given 2.5 moles of iron and 2.5 moles of CO2. So I'm going to put M for Fe. So the moles for iron, 2.5, right? And then same thing for the chlorine. Oh, sorry. Chlorine equals 2.5, right? Okay. So in this in this specific case, because we're given the same amount of moles of each, you know, 2.5 for each, um, and since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, the there wouldn't be a limiting react, right? Because a limiting reactant would mean that there is an excess of something, right? But we're given 2.5 moles of each, meaning that when these two react with each other, 
there will be no excess of anything because it becomes consumed, right? Like when you react two moles of iron right here, right? And you are given uh, two moles of FeCl3, that's it. There isn't an excess amount of anything because we are given the same amount of moles. So this hint where it says this will be the lesser moles of FeCl3, I wouldn't say is there to throw you off, but you have to know that if you're given the same number of moles and the same, and like the ratio is one to one or two to two or whatever, is the same number with each other, there wouldn't be a limiting reactant. There is no limiting reactant, right? So there would be no excess iron or chlorine. So there is no math involved in this. It's just you can't have a limiting reactant, meaning that. So let's let's read the question. How many moles of FeCl3 will be formed, right? If we're given 2.5 and we are reacting with 2.5, meaning since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, right? 2.5. 2.5, right? It's going to give you 2.5. Simple as that. We're not multiplying, we're not adding, we're not dividing, we're not doing anything. We're simply saying if I give, if I put this together and I put this together, knowing that this is a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning I'm going to get out the same exact thing that I put in. So you would get 2.5. So the answer would be, there would be 2.5 moles of FeCl3. Now, I don't know what's going to be on the test, especially for our class. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this simple. I don't know if there will be an excess. I'm not sure. But just for this specific problem, I know that we had some problems on the pretest. This would be the answer: two point five uh, moles of iron chloride or chlorate or whatever. Right? This would be it. And yeah, that's pretty. Good. That's pretty much it.